Hello everybody, welcome back to more Undermine Other Mind Streaking Time. We hold on, are we missing a pet? No, we're not. It's because we have one. <laughs> we get to unlock the final pet here. Will we get to use them today? I'm not so sure. Yes, no, who freaking knows? It's all down to RNG, but now we can we have a chance to get it. We also still have not had the lesser demon show up. It's another one that uh, is pretty darn solid. What do we want to go for here? I mean, you know, just getting, like, resurrection is not a bad call. Um, let's see what else we got. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I would I kind of want Hungry Ghost. You know what? It's time. Let's add Throwing Star to the mix. We'll talk about the uh, issues that arise sometimes with that as it shows up. But here we go. We're getting items on, items on, items. We have 22. Is there anything worth getting? I'll get the recycler. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about all that stuff when we get the items. Uh, as of right now, there's really not that big of a point to do so. We have 75 gems. 75 gems. That's nuts. But here we go. Wonderful new crown. The skeleton crown. Shout out to Oblivion EX. For supporting on patreon brand new patreon supporter welcome aboard getting your name on a peasant thank you very much lesser demon we were just talking about that we'll explain that as we uh, as we go on here basically it removes a bunch of curses after defeating certain enemies and it is it's kind of like a damaging pet that also removes some curses which is kind of just it's kind of nice uh, as far as what do we want to go for here, we do have, have three throw damage ups. I believe we mark the attack for the curse eater, or for the, uh, it's not curse eater, for the lesser demon with our throws. Uh, oh boy. Do we want to lean in? I think that early on, since it's the very, very, very first blessing, getting something like a shop cost down or a gold gain up, can be super beneficial for the longevity of the entire game. But, see down here, Curse Eater, 35. That's how many enemies we need to kill before we eat a curse. It will eat one of our curses and effectively turn it into, uh, I believe, future damage. I don't think we get damage from it yet. yet. I don't think it's damage scales off of it yet. I think it's a future thing. Because, yeah, at rank 2... It will attack enemies with a laser beam after we throw our pickaxe at them. And then at rank 3, Dark Light, which is the uh, the attack, penetrates enemies and scales in damage and size for each eaten curse. So that's really when it comes into play there. Uh, we're probably not going to kill 31 enemies in time here. I also don't really care that much about that specific blessing. I, we could end up going for a throw run. Whoop. We do have our uh, our bomb immunity sitting on our pedestal. So it is, it's a little bit more likely to get a bomb run going. I think it kind of, well, here you go. Kind of kind of makes our decision for us here, doesn't it? And I actually kind of like it because then we get an extra option at the shrine. So I'm actually really, really pleased that we do get to remove it now. Boink. Hit that out. Drink that. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get a useful curse because or a useful blessing because then we can obviously pick up a pick up a curse that we can eat. We kind of want to have one curse at all times. It's kind of a weird weird pet in that sense. It's sort of going to be the reverse of the chaos spawn, isn't it? Which has pretty much just historically been giving us giving us curses and curses. Here's the thing: removing curses though does not necess. Hey, I'll take that. Removing curses does not reduce your Omegalol, your curse chance uh, to find the extra, you know, the, the legendary item store. Curse store? <laughs> curse smart? Interesting. I will actually take this. See, and that's a, an interesting thing, sure, about this pet. It does let you be, I was wrong. We put the wrong thing there. We, we already took it off. Uh, let's be a little bit more liberal with what curses you take because if we got like a nasty disaster one We really only need one curse removal uh, Soon because the curse eater after we kill 18 enemies will take away the other one So it's hardly like it's hardly that big of a deal if the RNG does not go our way 
whoop. We only have to sit with the curse for, you know, just a just a little bit. Basically, it's a, it's really really nice. You get to pick up major curses a little bit more often with this pet, and you can just leave like curse fired on the ground until. Ooh, or, fine. It's a little spicy. You get to leave like curse fired curse chest on the ground until like say we are, we're down to to two, you know, and then we go into the next room. Ooh, only two enemy kills away from removing the curse putting it so we we rarely have to even like hold on to those curses we may stack our curses up a little higher and cause some some issues in that regard you know what lava walkers are good enough they are they're like as far as items on the the line either good or bad i usually have it like it's it's the, one of the last items that i would consider uh never really re-rolling Unless we're really, really looking for a very specific thing. I don't understand that. I don't understand. Am I? Wait, so that gave me 80. That gave me 80. Did I pick the, the stupid one? That would be 20, 20, 20. So it, wouldn't it, uh, wouldn't it rank up to 30, 30, 30? I guess we did miss out on what, like 10? Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. Uh, hmm. What was over there? I will say it does take a little bit longer for the curse to get removed uh, than you would maybe think. And you do, like, I think that they may have changed it. It used to be, like, there used to be this weird thing where at rank 2, it kind of, uh, I'm actually gonna... At rank 2, it actually used to do more damage than it would for the majority of its time at rank three so i wonder if that has been changed or if i'm wrong uh it's been kind of a it's been kind of a weird pet that i think is really good but just be mostly because of the whole sure come on impress me mostly because of the whole uh thing where you get the extra curse removal being being the primary feature where you really get that right away Ranks two and three just give you a little extra damage. And I think on a run where you maybe don't have a lot, it can be super useful if you kind of got some some suboptimal damage. I think it can really help you out. A shrine. Altar in a bottle. I'll go for it. We could... Depends. If there's an altar on this floor... Really? I, like, hit him out of the air, and then he came back down and hit me anyway. You dirty, dirty fool. Trying to get some fire action going here. I don't know. I don't really... See, there we go. We just ate our curse. Good deal. So we got right up there in the upper right. You see that one upper right corner of the uh, little pet there. So that is going to be stored for later when he hits rank three eventually. That is the number that will use, be used to scale our damage. Whoop. With the pet. Kind of like how, uh, you know, the, the Firebird scales off of your throw damage or something. Kind of like that. Uh, I kind of want to stack up a little uh, little amount of curses. You always want one with this pet. Uh, just, you know. Because sometimes you, you never know when you're going to be able to get another. You You want it to eat the curses. You want that to happen. Which means you want to have a curse. Uh, ideally, you don't. If it's a, you don't want to have a bad one for long, but you want to have one. And ideally, like obviously, the perfect case scenario is uh, you go and you pick up a curse when it's at one. You know, one more enemy kill, and then you get to remove your curse. That's obviously like the ideal scenario. I don't got no keys. That's the ideal scenario. How often does that line up? I would say, you know, more often than you'd probably think, but not that often. Here's the thing. Do I want to get another curse? HP. You know, I like I want HP. Fine. Got to start stacking something up. So now if we get a split curse or a split blessing potion, we can get these all up to rank two, which would make Ambrosia not so mediocre. I feel like there was definitely something we should have looked at in the shop, but 
I think it's okay. We'll we'll save our money. Oh, our attack speed is feeling so bad. We also got uh, the curse that we picked up. Luckily, was a double stack of the same one. Is it like lucky that it's uh, that one? <laughs> <laughs> that actually sucks pretty bad. No, that's not lucky, but I think it'll be okay. I, I genuinely think we'll be okay. Genuinely, I think we'll be okay, and then maybe we'll get a... I don't think when Curse Eater eats it, I don't think it counts as two. I think it genuinely just counts as one. The same way that uh, in most other scenarios, it just counts as one. We do so much more throw damage than swing damage, but it's still definitely in the territory where swing throw combo is very much our highest DPS option. You, you have to get it to go pretty darn well. Can we even cook it in the water? We can. I'll be darned. You have to get it to go pretty high up in the old damage front for the throws in order for it to really switch on over. So this is a tough decision. I don't like to make this. Salamander Tail is really good. Knight's Pendant could help us. Uh, it could help us convert this run into a little bit of a swing run, which is kind of what I'm feeling here. I like the, the Savagery... Picking up a rank of cleave and battle axe is really nice. Obviously, our meta progression is pushing us towards sw uh, throw. But think about it like this: the the very next time we see the peasant's pickaxe in the uh, or the meta progression upgrade for the swing in the shop, it's only going to cost fifty gold. Like we're going to be able to get it. But salamander tail is great, but we do lose the uh, like. The value, half the value of it is to light torches and set food on fire. We already have that in Lava Walkers. I'm actually just going to go with Knight's Pendant. Knight's Pendant, and as much as I hate having to deal with the enemy pilfers showing up, I hate I hate the mentality of not feeling like I can jump because it'll do one damage to me or something. I hate I hate playing that way. So, alas, alas, there's no secret room over there. I feel like there was a room where we might have seen a secret room on the last floor, but I just, uh, I, di I literally just didn't feel like going back to, <laughs> come on. Didn't feel like going back to look. That's, that's nuts, man. That's already, that was enough. That was enough. We are now even. I almost wonder if this ap gets applied I almost wonder if this gets applied after. I, like, how is it... Oh, how is it so good? Because this is supposed to reduce it by... Oh, it, it says, doesn't it? 15%. That's so much better than it used to be. It literally... It used to be, like, 30%. And it was such a bad item. It was a run-killingly bad item. I, I will say, I like the whole concept of... Yeah, we're going to give you this stat that's pretty darn good. We're going to take away a little bit of this one, though. As long as you balance the numbers right, I really I really like that, even. Because the fact that it takes away 15%, but every time I see it, I'm like, you know, I kind of, I do want that. That means that the numbers are done, done well. It does not feel obtrusively terrible, the, uh, the penalty. I do think we want to remove unless... Let's remove let's remove good deal so we got rid of two curses there puts us in a better situation to maybe get rid of pilfer's nightmare uh when we kill the 18 enemies here i don't think we can like farm it the way we, we used to be able to oh man like in situations where enemies could uh could summon things you used to be able to farm it or at the very least like with the um trying to get him to break this stuff Whoa. With the, like, little webbing cocoons. You used to be able to kill those to get uh, get extra charges. I don't think you can anymore. Don't think you can anymore. Hey! 
There we go. See, now if I see a, a shrine or something, I'd be I'd be very willing to pick up a curse or a, another major curse. See, there we go. Boom. 50 gold. All right. All right. You love to see it. Does it pay for itself in gold? I don't think so. But it's hard to say no to it because of the meta progression pickups. It, it, it's really hard to say no to it for that reason. Do I want to get the HP meta progression pickup? Eh, yeah, probably. It, it's probably good. I, am I going to? No. I'm going to save it for the big number. I got to save it for the big number. Ba, ba, ba. There's very much a clear target that we would love to double. But what are the odds? I mean, we can figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, one in five. One in five are literally the odds. It's not a very high, uh, not very high odds. Yeah. Just like that, we've converted to a, uh, a, a, a more clear hybrid run, if nothing else. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a swing run. But in a situation where there's multiple enemies in a little clump, we should definitely focus on making sure we're hitting uh, as many as possible with that instead of even maybe going for the swing throw combo. Boop, boop. I wonder if the devs know about the swing throw combo yet. I wonder if they know. I wonder if they ever knew. I don't think it. I don't think it's on purpose. I, I really don't. So we got our, our rank two. You can see right there. Boom. We just mark this. Laser beam. That is so much damage. I, I'm curious to see if it, uh, if, if it's still kind of worse at rank three, unless you have a lot of curses. That being said, like, if it scales off your curses and it starts at, at kind of a penalty, that's gonna be that's gonna be worse for other mine because it's not as long of a run. But, you know, the the fact that certain things are better or worse in other mine, I kind of like it. I don't know. You're really forced to make sure you're, um, like, I don't know. You got to pick a direction, and you got to go with the flow. Ooh, we already have these, so boom. Helios boots. Now we leave the big old pools of, of uh, blah, oil. Oil that gets set on fire there. I, I think that the likelihood that we're going to get a way to reroll this is low, so I'm just going to pick it up to save myself some time. Oh. We do need to pick up a curse. <laughs> a curse, you say? Hello there. Oh. All right, we got to we got to explore because uh the clover this early, not that it's early. Not that it's early, but it pays for itself very quickly. It gives you little itty bits of gold every time you kill an enemy, and you're like, well, it's such a small amount of gold, it can't possibly pay for itself. I think it pays for itself in the course of, like, um, like three floors or something. It's it's really a good item to pick up, especially early on. Not to mention there, it has a synergy that we have never picked up yet with... Um, oops. I can't believe we didn't get hit there. With the uh, the butcher's cleaver. It's like a weird sound clipping thing that goes on in this room. It's just because they're all going at the same time. It just, just, just doesn't sound right. So we definitely don't need to pick up curses now. We'll we'll be it. we'll be fine. I will almost certainly pick something like I will almost certainly pick something up from Omega Lol. There's a couple items that I think are run-killingly bad. Uh, yeah! Yeah, sure! Is it expensive? Yeah! Will it pay for itself? Yeah! Especially since we're going to Omega Lol right now, we we could even end up getting something that has like... Um, ooh, this is, this is an idea. We could end up getting something that gives us like five curses. It's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, this is my favorite thing to see. 
I... I don't want to die. Hey, I'll take Master Pickaxe. That's a good one. Doesn't give us any value right now. May never really give us value, depending on what kind of run we have. There's some runs where you really need to scramble a lot with the HP, and you sacrifice more than you maybe should, and stuff like that, but... Uh, not only does this give us more curses, it's just better. So we're going to be able to scale our HP real quick. Uh, here's the thing. If I could have picked them both up at the same time, I would have I, I would have done it. I would have done it, but alas, we cannot. So we pick up the mushroom, which gives us three curses, which puts us a lot closer to getting Kurtz's stash. Gives us a couple curses for our pet to pick up. And every single time we, uh, we kill an enemy, we gain HP. It's hard to be mad at that. It's a, it's a really good item to get early. I would consider floor 5 to still be early enough. Early enough. Alright, well, thank you. Rerolling our entire run is pr probably not something I would consider to be a good idea. The likelihood that we get a legendary item, I think, is zero. I don't, I don't think you can. I don't think you can. All right, so we got rid of our double. We're still sitting at the, uh, we're still sitting at a curse, which is good. That helps what? You were dead, my friend. You were dead, my friend. Okay. The only downside of the mushroom is you do hear the ding, 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 ding all the time. But honestly, is it really even a problem? It's fun to hear ding, ding, ding. Uh, we got four keys. Nah. Oh, please. Good deal. Good deal. The the pet is so slow. He's not as good for room clear as he actually is for, like, there's a couple bosses. I actually think this could be bad. That could be bad. I, I think we want curses, as I continually say. I would have liked to stay there to see if we got a sparkle, but there's not going to be anywhere that was safe. <laughs> so, I'm going to say not to that. We want curses, because we have Kurtz's stash and we have our lesser demon. If we pick that up, I'm, I would maybe be comfortable saying we wouldn't get Kurtz's stash. I think at that point I'd be comfortable saying that. So, alas. Uh, this pet is very, very good against uh, Ponzu, actually. Like, it's weird to specifically say Ponzu, but it's kind of kind of the truth. He's very stationary. He doesn't move around a lot, which lets the, uh, the laser beam... Hit him for, like, a, a hell of a lot of damage. You can kill Ponzu with this pet basically just using this pet. It's really kind of crazy. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if I thought it was worth the money. I still don't know, but oh well. Down we go. Off I go, Den. Speak of the devil. I do think that it's better at rank 3. Aw, oh, man. You need to stay still longer. There we go. Yeah. He's doing quite a bit. I guess, uh, I guess maybe he's not scaled up quite enough. Or we need to hit, like, rank 3 or something. But as far as pets go, he's one of the most damaging ones for Ponzu. Especially, uh, mostly during the final phase. Because Ponzu stops moving in the final phase. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they maybe they changed him. He used to be really nuts. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really, part two? Oh, that's right! The weirdest thing on Earth. The, the pool of fire, the oil pool of fire blocks it. I don't get why, but it does. It's a weird glitch that the game has. Uh, it blocks all beams. It sh it totally shouldn't. Like, I can't imagine it's on purpose. Oh, the pets are in the way. But we can kind of just... Kind of just cheese right now. Yeah. 
Except he's he's memeing me. You're memeing me. You're memeing yourself. All the pets are taking the hits for you. Get down, Mr. President style. Here. Come on, my friend. Get him. All right. Could we have farmed off of the ads? I don't think so, right? Like, I'm pretty sure we can't. I think they went through and they hard scripted a lot of a lot of uh, situations to not give you mushroom or anything like that. Easy choice for me right now. Killing enemies destroys a relic. Honestly, our crit chance is not that high right now, and we're probably going to be able to get rid of these curses fairly soon, anyways fairly soon maybe they shuffled around the power of the pet to what is more appropriate meaning <laughs> at rank three it does more damage goodness that doesn't count oh that doesn't count that's vile that's vile all right nope okay we're not my favorite situation as far as health goes, but we can just kind of like, you know, fix that sort of. Just uh, start getting in there doing that that good damage. Zip zip. I love the battle standard. It's so nice. It really single-handedly takes a run from being uh, mediocre to to really quite good. Just literally on its own it can do it it's amazing i was kind of counting on you pet to be it's, it's a really really slow one very very slow it's weird it's it's definitely better for bosses bosses are single or, or solitary did we get our curse we did okay solitary large boys So it levels up as it eats curses. So there's not really, and, and when you move down floors, so there's not like a huge draw to going for the pet biscuits right now. I may in the future, so very soon. And potion done, because we don't really have any potion duration up or anything. So what are you gonna do? Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Sure, yeah, there's just little penalty. Little tiny, tiny, itty bits of penalty for this item. Standing in the water. Gets you zapped. Oh, you dirty, dirty fool. You hate to see it. You absolutely hate to see it. I love that item, especially on a run like this. Give me gold room. No. On a lesser demon run, having the extra shrine charge is just, it's really nice. So that's kind of a bummer, kind of a bummer. We already seen our other secret room. We have seen another secret room. I don't know why, I just want to vibe check it. I knew it. I knew it wasn't gonna be there, I just. Sometimes you just don't know. Actually, could get enough money and say pretty darn slim. There's something in here for 100. The HP is 100, 150. Whoops. Whoops. Let's just live. You know, like we're, we're strong enough. We took a lot of damage because we we're kind of just goofing off a little bit. The longer we live, the more HP we'll have. Mushroom is really, um, I gotta say, Mushroom used to be such a a wild, exciting item for me. I used to be pumped, absolutely pumped every time it showed up. And I was still am very excited, but let's be real, Ursa Major really <laughs> kind of stole its thunder, didn't it? 
obviously like we don't have to worry about it going away and that's kind of the biggest benefit of it aka only benefit of it over first major but like that's the weird thing all of the benefit of this legendary item that we have right now we could get from picking up two pieces of food with ursa major it's truly like we got to talk about how how much stronger it is than like the other items in the game it's pretty crazy the downside is literally just the uh the duration going away that's not an issue on other mine it's an issue in the base game It's not a it's not an issue in other mine it's an issue in the base game because like uh you get up to ascension 30 or something the pets will or the bosses will probably probably take longer than the timer like it, i don't know should the timer be shorter should the food give you less per food i i don't know it doesn't, like, not... It's a single-player game. It's the weird thing. We always come to this discussion point in, in Undermine, and, uh, especially. It's a single-player game, so it's weird to say. Does any does any item need to be nerfed? No. But there is definitely an unspoken thing that should be spoken about overpowered items in single-player roguelikes, and that's the fact that it takes away successful build variety to an extent. And it's hard to balance, like, later ascension levels. Like, later ascension levels in the past, I don't know where they are now, because honestly, I just stopped following it, because it's just... I don't know. It's not the, it's not the most exciting way uh, to increase the difficulty of the game. Uh, 125 health to get literally nothing? What? I don't even... There's nothing on the pedal, so why would I sacrifice 125 health? But the thing is, like, yeah, successful build variety. Uh, there, there was balance issues. Some severe balance issues. I mean, there still is just in general with, uh, with high ascension levels. But throw in the fact that in the past, you also pretty much had to have Keyblade and 99 keys to stand a chance. I don't know if that's still the case. But it's, uh, that's a weird thing. That is a weird thing. I don't know if there's anything I actually want to sell. I'm, I, I'm kind of pleased with our stuff today. They never upped the price of mushroom. Mushroom used to not be a legendary item, by the way. It used to be a regular item. They put it, then they, it used to be a regular item, but it took away 100 health from you when you got it. And then it started stacking up. But they took away that penalty and just put it in the legendary pool. Uh, I don't know. If anything, I'm thinking Pauldron, but I'm kind of leaning toward, or no, uh, Caustic Vial. Sure. Sure. I, I think that it's, I maybe shouldn't do that, but we do have Poison Strikes anyways. Ara. Uh, okay, well, this is no brainer. Like, uh, we do, we do this. This is just, this is just a fact. You see this potion, you drink this potion. See potion, drink potion. Then I say we do this too. What do we have for some of our curses? Eh, no. Aura is amazing, but I don't think it. I don't think it has a place in the run we have today. I don't. I don't really. I probably should have picked that up first. <laughs> Whoops. I don't think it has a place in the run we have today. We want curses, and honestly, it's a very strong item, and it leads me back into my point where. Uh, strong items in single-player games. Like, for example, like it's exciting to get Brimstone. It's exciting to get... I don't know. I, a good one A good one to talk about is, like, Gun Theory in Edge of the Gungeon. I will talk about it, like, in case you don't know. It's an item that you do have to... You have to unlock after playing a bit. It's a very, very strong item, and it's one of the only... It's one of the few guns in the game that has infinite ammo in it so you don't have to worry about it at all and it's so strong you as soon as you pick it up you don't really like have to you don't really have to pick up another gun ever again for the whole run really 
And is that, like, fun when you're new? And, like, whether or not you win a run is... It's really up in the air, and getting an item like that could be the determiner. Yeah, it's 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 fun. It's fun. And the the first few times. Oh, wait, we have fire muted. It's fun the first few times for sure. Uh, maybe it's fun for some people for like 10 times. For me, that's not a fun item to find in that game anymore, because as soon as it shows up, I'm like, okay, this is like, I, I have two things. I either ignore this item, or we have a Gunther run. That's going to look exactly the same as the other Gunther run we did. <laughs> like, it's a run where we use Gunther. We don't have... There's no variety for the rest of the run. Uh, and it's the same kind of thing that used to exist in this game with Keyblade, but I feel like it, it exists... It doesn't exist in other mine, and that's maybe one of the things that I like. Uh, having a good Keyblade run in other mine is not guaranteed, like... It's not as common. You don't have as long of a time to make it work, so you really have to you really have to get cooking with it. You have to really try. But in the base game with the right stuff, most runs you can get to 99 keys if you if you really feel like it, if you if you want to unlock the items to do that uh, and you purchase the right stuff, you'll probably get to 99 keys. That's just usually the case. Uh, so it's kind of like no, it, it in the past it came down to like just look for secret room. Came down to like okay, I'm going to pass up every single item room so that I can get more keys so that my damage goes up. That's kind of fun sometimes, but in reality, what it's saying is I'm taking away any bit of uniqueness from my run and I'm making it a run where I can maybe hit very hard, which is fun for sure, but. When it's the only, like, when it outclasses every item that you have to an extreme degree, I think then it can cause a problem. Because then you kind of, you kind of become resentful of the item, and then when it shows up, you're like, well, I mean, I'm supposed to take it, but, like, I kind of wanted to win of my own volition, you know? <laughs> Not just because I got, I, I can, I'm sure I can find 99 keys. Something like that. And like I said, that's not an issue in, in, uh, in this, this mode in other mine. I, which I really, really dig. Keyblade is is really good, and it can be a very big deal, but it's not a guarantee that it is the only thing that matters in your run. Whoop! And I will say, as much as I, you know, it pains to admit it, because everyone's always like, don't nerf items! Uh, Ursa Major? Kind of completely game-breaking. <laughs> <laughs> like, kind of completely game-breaking. <laughs> to an extraordinary degree. Um... Sure. But should it be nerfed? You know, that's an up-in-the-air question. I can always just... Personally, I can always just avoid it. We will probably get to that place at some point. Uh, Aura is really, really strong, but they, they tweaked it. They nerfed it in a situation where, like... I know that I'm weird with... Maybe with my uh, my preferences on, in roguelikes, but since it's... I'm not going to say it's... It's definitely not a guarantee we win our runs, but, like, it's... You know, we're on a streak of almost 30, you know? It's not like it's... I don't think I'm gloating, and it's out of nowhere for me to say, like, it's li very likely we win. <laughs> uh, so, I kind of like to have a little bit of a challenge. I like to try and have runs be unique from each other if we can if we can help it. I like to have different things shine. And I, I do like to have very thematic, flavorful runs, if I can. Like, I try... When, when people say, like, a, a, a common common comment I will see is you're trying too hard to force X run or XYZ run. It's like, yeah, I know and it's, it's it's a problem to an extent, but it's mostly so that I can be like it's so easy to have a run of Undermine and it just goes by and at the end of it, you're like, what kind of like, what happened that run? I don't know we hit pretty good, we threw pretty good, we have, have a pretty good amount of health uh, we didn't really utilize our pet very well. Uh, our items. 
were forgettable. You know, it's easy, it's easy for that to happen, and I try my best to uh, to make that not happen. Like, I really would love to lean into our uh, our curse boy. I'm trying to make sure. That's why I'm desperately trying to make sure he uh, he gets everything he can get. We have a nice amount of uh, of mushroom charges, so I'm actually not going to kill any more enemies. Because they are the magic number. I am, of course, not going to actually do that. But it is it would be nice, wouldn't it? Whoop. Look at that. Look at that damage that we're doing with the pet. It, it definitely seems like they uh, they fixed the weird scaling issues it had. Which I am very pleased about. Uh, seasoned popcorn. It's good. I kind of like the idea of saving my money for something exciting, though. Like, we have so much. Why do we have so much? Is it that 500 piece that dropped? Is that what it was? We have to have... Come on. Okay, good. I say, we have to have the ability to turn on this. Boo! You stink! Okay. I would have loved if we could bomb our way in. I don't think there was keys in the shop. Am I wrong? I, I feel like I remember bombs. Bombs, not keys. Bombs, not keys. Bomb, bomb, bomb. A genius. You know what? These are very worth it when we have golden powder. We should even consider looking into maybe a bomb size up blessing. It's one of the rare times where I really, really like it. Like, I really like it. That could be a secret room. It is. It's one of the times where I really, really like it. It's because you can, uh... You just gotta remember that the bomb is scary and then you'll be fine. Well, I guess we're out of here. I mean, I'm glad that we have never had the uh, disgusting thing that happens with this pet where we get all the way down to uh, to one and then we, we just did not have, just didn't, didn't have a curse for it to take. Here's a way where we could, oh, oh my God, I got got. Make it so we uh, don't have to worry about that issue. There's. This is a curse item room. I know that because there's no other locked rooms that have no symbol. It should probably just have its own symbol, don't you think? Okay. Uh, we take adventure set. We just do. We might as well do that, that, that. Capture sphere. I think it's a little too late. I think it's a little too late. We gotta do our doubler potion at some point here. I just haven't really felt any um, rigidity in the run. I haven't felt the need to. Hasn't felt nothing's felt scary. Okay, that's pretty much when I consider uh, going for. It. I'm gonna do this right now. We probably should have done it, you know, obviously just mere moments ago. But whatever, we're gonna find. We'll be okay. Could be a secret room. I don't think it is, though. I don't think it is, though. Don't think it is, though. Impress me. Uh, this actually works with Master Pickaxe. So. I, I wish we could have both. Because Master Pickaxe plus armor. Soft combo. We also need to just stop. Taking damage. If that would have done it, if that would do a split shot, I would have freaked. I would have freaked. Oop, no! I would have freaked. Do you want to get back to full HP? Oh my gosh. Well, hello there. Thank you, Fork. We just keep, we just keep getting them. They're just all over the place. All right. No, I don't want to use my three keys on that. Whip. 
But look at that damage! It's crazy. Full HP easy. Would be great. We'll try to line it up so we have full HP and two armor for the boss fight. And I'll, I'll do the best I can do. Sometimes you don't have a choice. Okay. God, it's so good. My only issue with the pet, as of right now, is... It still has that issue where it totally makes it impossible to see anything. So, yeah, when you, uh... When these rocks blow up... Bup, 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 bup. If the bomb that made it happen was a gold powder bomb, they will drop gold too. I don't know why. It's a weird interaction. I don't get it, but I love it. It's just a it's a nice little sneaky sneaky hack to squeak out extra money on the crystal crystal cavern floors. I don't know if it's worth like planting two bombs here to you know to get that one to go off, but that one I saw three red ones at the same time. You know I have to. Okay, well, uh, yeah, yeah. as much as I want to. That's good. That's good. Oops. Wow. Is there anything worth selling? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. All right. It's time to talk about Throwing Star. How to talk to your children about Throwing Star. Throwing Star. I used to love it. I used to absolutely love it. It has some issues. What does it do? It makes your throws pierce through walls, pierce through enemies. Uh, it... Dang, damn it, man. I thought I, I, thought I got it. Uh, you may be like, that sounds amazing. And the answer is like, yeah, 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 it's good. It's good. I do like it. But it does take away your ability to do the swing throw combo entirely. Also, uh, normally when you throw and you hit an enemy, your pickaxe then starts to bounce back at you immediately, which is good. It means you get to throw a lot quicker. You get to throw, throw way more times. Oh, hell yeah. It means you get to throw way more times. Thus giving you more DPS. This is really something you... I don't... It's tough. I think you need like a lot of throw speed to make it really good on a normal run. I have not yet had it with... Um... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I've not yet had it with Fork, though. Oh, boy. So I... I got launched. I think it's a different thing entirely with Fork. That we will need to figure out. Whoop. It seems like it's better. I, it really does seem like it's better with fork. So maybe, maybe we'll like it. Maybe we'll like it. But it's a weird one. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a catch-all. I will say that I'm loving it with fork, though. I yes, with fork it is very good. Ooh. Okay. This is this is a new chapter. Fork continues to surprise me. It's it's an item that on its own is okay to somewhere between okay and pretty good. But it leads to so many combos. Like this is like the fifth time I've gotten fork and it's made another item in the game like infinitely better. And by infinitely better, I mean like it just it makes it better. I, I do think it worked really well with that throw size up there, so it's maybe not going to be as good. But like, wow, that definitely is better. That is definitely definitely making making it better. Okay, so we did eat yet another curse. Eat ye the curse. Look at that, twenty damage. How is that okay? Okay, you know what? I will take the glaive. I will take the glaive just straight up. Because I did really like to have the throw size up. I think it was nice. <sighs> it's too late for popcorn. Too late for popcorn. I will eat some meat instead. Sure. Just want to make sure we're at full. We are at full because we're going to be fighting the boss here today. Today. 
God. It's so good. It's so good. It's crazy. It's so good. Fork plus Master Pick. Gax is a match made in heaven. We actually don't have any keys. And I don't really want to mess up not having full HP or whatever. Let's see. What is, this whole time. Always the moment of truth. What are we going to do? Swing size. Okay. Swing size up. HP up. Let's get in this. It's sell. <laughs> so we need to be far enough away to hit uh, with the... To make these show up, but not far enough away. That, uh... Oh my god. This is just beautiful. <laughs> that we don't hit with our actual swing. So we did 4x damage. Four, basically, Master Pickaxe plus Fork means you do your swing damage, and plus swing size, means you do your swing damage four times to the enemy. That is crazy. It is crazy. Oh, Oblivion, EX, you got a treat of a run. That was just, that was a quintessential classic clean as hell run. Other Mind Crown 27. Oh, baby. Or Other Mind Crown 28, streak of 27, I meant to say. Uh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much to Oblivion EX for supporting on Patreon, getting your name on a peasant. Link at the top of the description if you want to join in in helping support the channel. Thank you very much. Check out the channel for roguelikes more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.